Two and a half weeks after it started, a coal mine is still burning in central Utah, and it could burn for a long time. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle is here with more. Now, Nate, I understand the fire is not the only problem right now, is it? No, it's not, Kelly. The fire is also giving off toxic gases. The Lila Canyon mine southeast of Price ignited September 20th. We're getting our first clue of what happened. The Bureau of Land Management posted documents saying the fire ignited in a coal pillar. That would confirm the coal itself is burning. We still don't know exactly how that coal ignited, but a spokesperson, spokesperson for the U.S. Department of Labor told Fox 13 today that Lila Canyon has a history of spontaneous combustion. That can happen to coal as it oxidizes. Documents from the BLM and the Utah Division of Oil, Gas and Mining both show Lila Canyon's owners are still trying to drill boreholes to the top of the, through the top of the mine. The Labor Department spokesperson said drilling began Thursday and the bits may have to travel 1,200 feet. That will allow owners to sample the air and determine the best course of action. The owners could inject nitrogen into the mine. More on that in a moment. Now, not long after the fire ignited, Fox 13 talked to a professor who studies mine fires. Let's hear what he said. If the fire in the mine is in the mined out area and spread it to the active working area, that um, problem is normally tough. You would need to either flood the mined out area with water to put off the fire or sometimes uses um, injection of nitrogen to like inert the mined out area, so the fire uh, will be put off without oxygen. The Labor Department spokesperson couldn't give us a timeline for snuffing the fire, but left open the possibility that it could burn for months. Bob and Kelly, the U.S. Mine Safety and Health Administration isn't allowing anyone into the mine until sampling and testing determines it's safe. That's quite the task there, mm. Nate. Who's in charge of fighting this fire? Basically, the mine's owners, um, they're the ones that have to come up with a plan to fight this fire. The, the government agencies that have some kind of regulation over the, the land are, are really just kind of sign off on some of the basic stuffs like where to drill. Well, so nobody can go in the mine while it's on fire, obviously. Is this going to cost coal mining jobs? Yeah, it could. It sounds like for the moment, miners are being enlisted to help fight this fire, you know, drill those boreholes and stuff like that. And, and the mine does have its own fire brigade, so it's possible at some point things will be safe enough to go in. But, yeah, if, if they're not extracting coal for a while, then I don't see how everyone stays employed much longer. All right, Fox 13's Nate Carlisle, thank you so much.